Hey guys, Digimaster here of the Digimaster YouTube channel bringing you a video update and this is just a small one uh, but at the end of this of course I'll, I'm going to do a bit of a you know, I'm going to do the actual video but um, this video update is really, this small bit is really concerning the future of the YouTube channel which technically is, hey Transforminator, what's up? Nah, that's not it. <laughs> Shout out Transforminator but to the real update um, I'm planning to do a bit more of a mix between action figure reviews and movie reviews and video game reviews that are concerning um, these figures or movies. For example, maybe I do something like, uh, which I'm going to do, Transformers War for Cybertron review. I'll find a way to do that. Uh, and of course, I'm going to do my Predators review, which uh, you guys just going to have to wait for that. It'll be right up pretty soon, but maybe by tomorrow I'll have it. Maybe. But yeah, um, besides that, that's it. That's the update. Now for the main part of the video. This video I really just dedicated to the Thor footage shown in Comic Con. Trust me, that footage was awesome. I was able to go see it on the internet. Unfortunately, it's down now. So for anyone who's willing to see it, you gotta really go on the internet. You gotta really find it. Because it's nowhere to be found. I've checked again and, and, and I just can't find it. I guess you got to be really one of those internet jockeys. So anyways, how, what I think of it, um, without spoiling too much, it was awesome. Um, of course, Tom Wilson plays Loki. Chris Hemsworth plays the one and only Thor. And Anthony Hopkins, also known as Hannibal Lecter, uh, plays Odin. Great, great casting choice, I thought. Like, whoa, you know. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Hannibal Lecter, the mass murderer in those films, awesome, you know, Anthony Hopkins. Um, the footage I saw, this film was going to be like down to earth, kind of gritty uh, in terms of the fighting style. It looks like a much more hands-on approach compared to like Iron Man. Uh, is it comparable to Incredible Hulk? Not really from what I saw. It's more, uh, I think Thor is much more... Uh, complex fighting style. He's doing a lot of drop kicks, you know, a lot more uh, throws and punches. You know, Hulk is much more of a dirty puncher and, and fighter. He doesn't do much of kicks, but Thor does all that and lifts people. Sounds a lot like uh, Incredible Hulk, but I think when you look at Thor, I mean, he just has a big hammer. He hits people with it, which is always awesome. Big hammers are awesome. Um, continuing on, of course, this film to me is probably going to feel like God of War meets Iron Man and for for one factor because in the kind of the beginning of the footage we see Asgard it's this big golden city okay I spoiled that for you I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> but anyways um big golden city and um it was a big golden city, and of course there were gods and whatnot, and of course that makes you, that gets you reminding of God of War, and then it goes to the Iron Man side, which is like you know, Shield comes in with all their high tech stuff and whatnot, and it really even the way it's shot and the settings kind of remind me of Iron Man. I I, I guess it's because Agent Coulson has a bigger role in Thor. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I, I don't know, should I tell you or should I not? Well, you you guys probably found out on the internet, but Destroyer is in this film. Of course, Destroyer, if you don't know, he is a uh, weapon that Odin had uh, stored away, and I'm not sure about the full bio, but still, uh, he, he looks pretty awesome. He looks like something out of this world, I think is a better term to describe it. Um... Of course, the director is Kevin Brannick. Now, if you don't know, he I believe he directed King Henry the Fourth. It's a Shakespeare film. He's done a lot of Shakespearean stuff. He's a British director, and of course, we all know him as you'll you'll never believe this, Gilderoy Lockhart from the uh, Harry Potter and the I forgot what was it called, Chamber of Secrets. Right, Chamber of Secrets. And I call myself a Harry Potter fan. Anyways, um, well that's that's practically it. My final impressions on this was it looked awesome. It looked like my mind was about to explode from the awesomeness. And yes, I might have left out a couple details, but I think those details weren't necessarily important or they just kind of, you know, go, okay, whatever, sort of ordeal. 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Finite end of the line. So guys, I just did my update and I did my impressions on the Thor footage. I'm not gonna put a link because number one, it's not up now. I said I checked everywhere, and yeah. So guys, you know what to do. The three rules on my channel: rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Peace, guys. Did you master out?